Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and have you ever experienced this error on your Mantis 3D printer? Well, if you have, then I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's actually a very simple thing to fix, however, it does have to do with the STL file that you're using. What this error means is that the STL file was non-manifold. Now, that is essentially it has holes in it, or like the geometry overlaps itself in weird ways. So, the way we fix this, it's very easy. You just go and Google Autodesk Mesh Mixer. This is the program right here. You can see it in the title. Autodesk Mesh Mixer. And you're going to take that STL file that caused that issue. In my case, it was this Small Gears STL. And you're just going to drag and drop it into here. Now, immediately, it highlights these problem areas. You can see this little dimple here and this here and the issue lying in the creases here. So that needs to be fixed. If you can also see there's this little hanging dot here, I don't know what that is, but it's probably also going to fix that too. So the way we fix this is go to analysis here, click on that, inspector, and see it points out all the issue areas. And all you have to do is fix them. So we're going to do inspector once more because I accidentally deleted a point and I'm just going to click auto repair all very easy and now it's done literally as fast as that just hit done and then now to use this file we actually have to hit file and export I'm going to save it to our desktop and I'm gonna name it fixed small gears so the only other thing is make sure that this is an STL either these two formats are fine but do not use anything else because those will not print on our printer. So just make sure it's an STL file. Hit save and now it is right here on our desktop. Oops. So essentially if you look at the small gears in general if we just hit preview you're gonna notice they look perfectly fine so this isn't really something you can tell in advance from just looking at it however you do see that little uh, dot there, um, but if you look at the fixed version, uh, and I open that again, that dot is missing. You won't really be able to tell the fix on the teeth because they're already pretty high resolution, but we know that the file is fixed now, so if you run this for your printer again, all will be well and it will print just fine. So if you have any more questions about this subject, please don't hesitate to reach out and we'll help you to the best of our abilities. Thank you.